of the more clean, clean knockdowns you'll ever witness. Judah following up, and the two of them just flailing away, turning this into a good old Donnie Brooks. He said you're sitting right there. You're not moving head or your feet. Get out of the way. Step to the side. You're just waiting on him. He knows where you're going to be. This fight certainly delivering on its promise to this point. Shoot it down on the first. Planting him home. The second. Second is a straight right hand right on the on the nose by Millet. 
Every once in a while, Judah gets a little too cocky, a little too showboaty and flashy, and he, he makes a mistake, and he gets caught. Gets off balance or gets caught off guard. But he does know how to put on a show. Action has slowed down quite a bit. I think both of the fighters recognize him. They're making too many mistakes and leave, leaving themselves hang out. Oh, no, well, no, no. That was a trick, Bobby. No knockdown. No knockdown. Get in the corner. Get in the corner. He's up. Well, that's tripping over Judah's feet. Judah comes out the left so quickly. You just can't see those punches coming. It's like a blur. The left hand will work his way in behind the jab, even if the jab doesn't land. He can't come in behind wild left hooks, right hands, and uppercuts. He's wasting too much energy. He's letting Dad Judah set him up. Gorgeous left hand and a combination by Judah to the head. Working him over. Down he goes for the second time. The elbows tumbled out of the ring. Five. He gives a big link to his corner. Seven. Hey, y'all. Well, the says he's okay. He got up very quickly. You talk about looking off balance, and now Judah again wants to put the finishing touches on here in round four. It's going to be the speed, that's the difference. And the letter's not adjusting to the speed. Oh, no, 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 Coming in wild, no, 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 keeping his hand no, no, tight, no, firing no, combination. And a furious assault here by Judah. Almost scoring at will. That was not a knockdown. I think it was a sheer exhaustion. No, he swung so hard over the head of Dan Judah. He just missed his momentum, carried him to the floor. He's down for the third time, and the referee Michael Ortega did not get the response he was ready for, and he calls it off. It's over. It's over, and Dan Judah ends it here for the four. I think Judah was still hurt. When they go back and look at the stage, it's not a clean knockdown, Steve. It really is. Lift. A lot of wild punching. There he swings and just kind of checks over his head. Speed that was very, very early. First knockdown. In the round is a little bit of a delayed effect. Watch the right hook. Catch him on the chin as he's coming up. Right there is a left. Sorry, is a left hand. A little bit of a delayed reaction. The leg goes down almost face first. Now we're going to look at the end of the fight. I really didn't see a punch here. There's a miss. Swing and a miss. There's no real knockdown. No, he's on his way to the floor. There's no knockdown punch there. Millet off balance, swing wildly. Watch it again. He doesn't really get hit. Swings right here. You'll see a big wild right hand. He's on his way to the floor. Dad misses him with both of those shots. One hand with the shoulder, the other one misses with the clean. Now let's look at his face. Well, you know, he did say that he was all right. He nodded his head affirmatively. He said he was all right, but uh, the referee Ortega obviously had a different agenda. He had other ideas. He did not want to see Millette get hurt any longer. Uh, but you're right. That was a swing and a miss, although he looked very exhausted, dazed, and confused. It was a little right hand on the way down. As Millette was already falling, it hit him, it looked like, in the shoulder and the chest area. But slappish, not hard, not a solid pound. And then the one behind the head missed completely. There was no clean. His colorful recent career, man, Freddie is...